What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off about last time, uh, we were attacked by the Ottoman Empire, so we've had to make peace with the Swedes um, in order to provide more firepower to bring against the Ottoman Empire. But they have decided to try and attack Naples. We forced them off with the Nesto Defendi's army, and then they have come back. So time to destroy them with our garrison. So the objective is to deploy as far back as possible to allow as many of my men from the reinforcing army to come in as possible. So without further ado, let's fight. But if we lose, then they will probably just swarm the place and uh, <laughs> and destroy a bunch of important buildings. And we don't want that. See. Got a huge amount of mortars, which are you always worse in our hands than they are in the AI's hands. That's just a demonstrable fact. Let's just hope we get the uh, support. And we do, it's on their flank as well. they're running to destroy our forward position as quickly as possible so let's run also run our supports forward at the very least um, when they get close enough we can drop them to quick line which even though the mortars are actually really inaccurate they will still the area of effect will help offset that to a certain degree. There we go, and the mortar's going to start firing. Uh, oh, the shells are off to the right yeah they are okay let's just set them to quick climb because they're always so terrible at the start anyway it doesn't really matter Running forward. See, at least a quick climb, even though they might miss, the quick climb is still can help compensate again from that for that inaccuracy. So even though we only need a handful of good hits. Where's a bash of azooks? Sending some line infantry. No, that way. There we go. So even though we've got very, very bad artillery. <laughs> Providing support, we can actually uh, we will still actually be able to fight them off because our infantry. We've got a couple of good units of garrison line, so the camels are a bit of a trickier number.
So some of these units. March straight through the combat. You guys that are already retired, go and engage the Zendai horsemen. Everyone else, run! Switch the garrison line to go fight the camel nomads. Bazooks. Oh, my artillery hit that unit of Camel Nomads. It's a lot of quick line. There goes the general. Yep, he's broken. The light horse is going to hit the Bash of Bazooks in the rear before they get to our lines, hopefully. go. And we've seen them off. We may as well continue. Because it's going to be quite a simple battle to uh, organise the chase. Mainly because most of these guys aren't going to escape. One of them might. Well, it's going to be close. Might not get the Nizam, might have to go for the Musalim. Now we might get the Musalim. The Bashis would be great, but they're a bit too far. Come on. Got the Bashis. Okay, we'll take the Musalim as a backup prize. The more men we destroy, the more the greater the likelihood that the army just disappears from the battle map, which is exactly what I want. Well, the Camel Nomad is going to rout successfully, as will the Muslim. And you guys better be super thankful for this, because you are about to die very rapidly. But there we go, we have once more, quite comprehensively. Russians are going to Russian. So what I want is for them to focus their attention on someone else. So we'd... Well, we've got a good chunk of money. So... Start to get my rakes back over. Everywhere that produces money that was raided in Paris, which is probably most of it, needs to be rebuilt. Signore. Pronti. You guys replenish. You guys are all ready. Good. You guys can replenish and you can't okay. build a fort. Lots of spies doing good work. Upgrade it to an artillery fort. Get some of these upgrades. Upgrade Marseille. So Paris, which currently does make loads of money, is now only producing three grand just because it's lost all of its tax income. Okay. Then British armies here. Signore, i vostri ordini. Mr. Defender, you go over here. 
bastante. Okay. Let's upgrade Ravenna to a global trading company. There we go. And we've pretty handily spent all that money that we got for those tax. That's how in demand it is. Okay, so you fellas need a bunch of cash. Go take out Becky Farid. We lost 500 men doing that, allegedly. Let's replenish, and you guys can get ready to do. I don't know, a bit of a counterpunch, maybe take Cairo, try and make peace. We've got a couple of big armies here, so we need to land a fairly sizable force. But where we do need to spend money, and I was just about to come back here, is Cuba. Actually, let's get better roads, get more product to export. So we could take out the pirates, but I don't think I really want to. Low yield, high yield. Well, if we're going to take anywhere, we want to take Antigua. So Mr. Castelli, get into Port of Pay. You down here, build a sloop. Take this army. Embark you into the fifth rate. And we want to take Antigua because at the very least it produces a... We've got a sugar plantation that's high yield rather than low yield. Port in France. Oh okay, this army that's currently a garrison no longer needs to be a garrison. Uh, you can march on to the dock here in Marseille. Get aboard ship. Or oh, do I just expand in the Balkans because I've got a, a lot of men here already? Let's get one of these galleys out of here. So I can get this galley over to Marseille. Troublemaker fleet right there. So I may as well be strong, strong here. And I can dump, I can dump, th bring these guys over when they're done. Probably transport one of these armies over to, for, to Paris. This one we're now 13 grand. Okay, so in terms of text, what we definitely want is abolition of slavery would be pretty good. Um, mainly it's classical economics is what we really want. So much so I think I might take Verona off of that and put them on to um Light infantry doctor in, then get Bologna onto classical economics to get it quicker. Sevilla's on Sevilla's on to Carinades. Instead, go for. Actually, nothing else is really good for you to go for because you've got no real good techs. Short on carbines, I suppose. I could for secular humanism. Well, actually, I suppose technically the best thing to do would be to have Verona still get Sevilla onto Light Infantry Doctrine because it's still only one turn and get Verona onto Secular Humanism because it takes them a few fewer turns. Okay, so let's put... First of all, take these militia out. Swap them with Line Infantry. 
Make them put Athens under siege. Just siege it for now. Because what I want is these guys to be ready to uh, push out. Because with three armies, I'd like to push for Istanbul. So I probably want to build... This is still a seminary, which is good. That's still our missionary. So in terms of Athens, Athens is pretty... Pretty far on the Catholic scale, let's start to try and convert Istanbul, which will be a tall order. Some good traits gained. Nesta Defendi is a good attacker. He's an aggressive attacker, a good defender. Great general. Don't worry, he will also be marching over here, so we'll have four armies here. So I'd like to take Istanbul, and then try to get a ceasefire. All about trying to progress these incremental gains. Obviously we've got the Swedes over here that could cause a real problem. If they ever got a fleet together. But I think what I want to do is hit and turn and see what happens. You're replenishing. You're replenishing. You're replenishing. And we've got a bunch of troops up here in Scotland. Good. They're offering me 36 grand for free trade doctrine. I mean, all right. So at the very least, the Ottomans in Europe should be slightly occupied by the uh, by the war against the Prussians. Our old battle line again in Venice is going to start to raise its head again. So we might need to keep some men or keep some men recruited behind the lines to provide support. Pirates are going to pirate, but I'm okay with them. So what have you got? Also advanced infantry, howitzers, which isn't good. So we got light infantry doctrine, so you now go on to probably platoon firing to get that uh, training level up. Plenty of states been built, tobacco plantations have been built, let's pick them up. In order to get as much product out for sale as possible. Even though trade is not really what we want our economy to be to be based on, uh, we don't really have a lot of a lot of choice at the moment. Twenty-two grand, lots of trade. Sloop in the Caribbean that we've moved over. Let's pick up this commercial basin. Let's hop back to Europe. Let's pick up a port upgrade for Britain, most likely. Maybe a water power cloth mill for the cost efficiency, same with the iron workshops. You're still replenishing. Let's pick that, get that repair going, make them a bit more happier. Roberto Galvani, get him down to this bridgehead. Yeah, they, they just about like that. They do really dislike my industrialization. Let's take this cheer in force well actually let's send don't want the militia so they will have a, a bigger unit of howitzers instead a heavier gauge and then also give them some more line then these fellas can go actually i might keep that many men 
here behind the line. These others come up to France. Still replenishing. Still sieging here in Athens. What I may do actually is let's sail over and let's have a look at the Istanbul area. It's not a, so it's a fairly eh, it's not a great army inside. The supporting army's not that great either. I probably want I would probably want a proper push. A supported push. So Mr. Defendi is reinforcing as well. Okay, so I don't want to lose men in this Athens attack because we've got a lot of work to do afterwards. We're starting to convert, we are. Lots of clamour for reform, but they've got lots of repression. So if we keep converting the population to Catholicism, that should make things a bit more complicated. Oh, and let's attack these Antiguans. Nice, simple battle to just <laughs> to end the part on. Then we have the Windward Islands, which seems about right. Okay, drop my artillery there. Drop my howitzers behind them. make a great section of line because there's no point being clever cover range flank general in the center and then just uh, open fire on him I suppose <laughs> poor souls Yeah, I just really cannot. I do. Money is so tight in this campaign. I really, really do not want to idly have to uh, replenish men. I absolutely do not need to. So you have garrison mortars. Of course, you've got one over on the right and one on the left. But what's going to happen is the 12th light foot here are. Uh, they're going to take a bit of a hammering. Led by whoever this chap is. Looks pretty cool with the feathers in his hat. But I don't think things are going to go well for them. Why aren't you firing? Let's see if we can get some experience on the 8th Regiment of Artillery as well. No hits. Always trust the quick line. Okay, so the idea is once they've left the howitzers behind, that'll be more more amenable to uh, to send forces to attack. Yeah, unsurprisingly broke. Let's bring up a regiment of horse. Let's get my artillery focusing at some slightly different targets. Straight in against the field artillery. Straight in. Artillery is inbound. Here are battle lines. See, I said I, I said I wasn't going to 
throw men into the mix, but I got bored. <laughs> so heaven forbid what you guys think about this. Get my general out here to hoover up some kills. There we go. Then the actual normal battle line is kicked off. And it's finished. <laughs> You'll accidentally kill a whole bunch of pirate mob. General's dead. Pick new quick climb targets. Just charge you guys into the tent. Field artillery been destroyed. Charge my cavalry over there instead. You guys enjoy the line battle. Dead piratas. Quick climb is horrendously effective. But yeah, I'm gonna speed up time just because nothing's really happening. There's one unit left on the field. So now there's no units left on the field. And we're gonna continue just to wipe them out. all about farming that experience for your men and your general as well that's very important i mean we won't kill as many units because some of these these units are absolute chaff so they'll take forever to kill now focus on the biggest units get the most amount of kills Only a matter of time before they successfully routed. There we go. Now we're gunning down the pirates. Well, I don't want to destroy them because they're actually doing some good raiding, raiding uh, activities on my behalf. So I don't actually want to destroy the pirates. But I want to claim as much of their territory as I can, at the very least. Come on, six, five... Three, two... One. Bloop. Then get over here with my general. He seems to be having a bit of trouble. They're so close to routing as well over here. There they go. They finally routed. But there we go. The pirates are ours for only 90 casualties. Oh god damn, there's a lot of a lot of men on the field. Okay, that navy needs to be intercepted. With something. I need to... I need to rebuild my navy after that hammering. I really do. Because there's not really much else I can do about it. Ok, 
because right now in this campaign we are in a, in the phase of it just being a series of petitions. Let's see if we can trade with Britain. Russia. I'll give you interchangeable parts. I'm not going to give you Lombardy. That's just not going to happen. So we need to or intercept with the very least. Although, no, they, they've actually just moved them from one place to another. Keep you guys nearby. Keep you guys replenishing. Get some more ships recruited. Let's push up, I suppose. If, they, if they're going to let us, let's push up. But I would like to try and cause... Well, with Istanbul in rebellion, they can't really afford to do... They can't really afford to leave the region. Cuba's got basic roads, so here you go. Have cobbled roads. Keep growing that delicious tax income. Six turns to classic economics. So navy is regrowing, or is, is growing rather, not regrowing. Let's pick up steam-powered cloth mill in Naples. Okay, so now we've got two armies up here. So the fleet... I can, I can drop another army into the Balkans pretty safely. So let's take... I want these guys here to act as a bit of a protection force. So let's take... Let's take the heavy privateer. Oh, actually, to be honest, I can just use the sloop in Greenwich. Because we can circumnavigate this fleet through the Gibraltar and successfully take them damn, all the way there. Because, yeah, we can sail around the, the control zone. Of this Russian Navy. Zoop. The land the army in Patras. Then you can march on. Once Ernesto is replenished, that'll be another. Siamo pronti. We've also got this fella here. And then you go to Patras. Let's try and move this galley out first. So that galley can sail up to Marseille. Disembark. And we can also push them on. So that's now four troops stationed in the Balkans. We're going to get a bunch of money when we capture Athens. Then we can start to push on Istanbul and secure their capital, which I think would be pretty neat. I've only got 32 cash, which I'd probably like to build up a bit more of a garrison in, in Paris, just in case... Britain cancelled our trade agreement, but now we've got it back. Berlin's making a serious amount of dough. But yeah, so if we can try and knock out, or at least deplete, the Ottomans. Like, if we could take Istanbul and Ankara, that would be a massive kick in the nadges for them. Um... But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Italian States. Cheers everyone.